Welcome back to the Hookfin Barbell Channel. You are looking live inside the barn gym on a Monday afternoon. We are gonna give you, well, I am gonna give you the five tips to increase your bench press. Five tips to increase your bench press. But you can put a guarantee on a box of shit. And all you got is a guaranteed box of shit. So let's go. All right, exercise number one, the close grip bench. One of my favorite exercises of all time. Hand placement is key. Uh, I go, zoom in over here. The smooth, right here, either right here on the smooth part or one finger over from the smooth part, which would be here, right? And then no further away than like a thumb. I mean, that's far. So you really want it about right here. All right. I'll demonstrate the close grip press for you right here. Usually stop about an inch from the chest. Boom, lock out. You want to go relatively heavy, somewhere in the 70 to 80% range, five to eight reps, three to five sets. It's really focuses, focusing on the tricep, takes a little bit off the shoulders, and uh, that is tip exercise number one. Let's move on. Exercise number two, the floor press. The floor press takes the legs out of the movement, helps you fight through that sticking point, right? A lot of times if I'm, uh, if I see people benching and they don't, for some reason, fight through that sticking point more, that lockout on a regular bench press, but on a floor press, you will. So hopefully that gets stuck in your fucking head to hammer through. It also takes your legs out of the equation, focuses more on your uh, shoulders, triceps, and lats. By the way, drink beer during it. I put this right in my shopping cart here, my beer holder. Here's a little demonstration of the floor press. You lay on the floor, All right? Take it out of the bar. Boom. So you pause, a slight pause at the bottom on the floor, obviously. Push through. Hammer through them, three to five sets. Uh, I usually go about what? Less, or less reps on this exercise, usually triples, fives, um, somewhere in that rep range. We're going heavier. Obviously it's uh, similar to like a board press, so heavy. All right, number three, the incline bench. Incline bench. To me, is better than the flat bench itself. It works the overall chest better. I've always had great carryover on incline. Anytime I had a strong incline, I always had a strong bench. Hand placement, very similar to exercise number one, the flat bench close grip press. You know, so our hand placements, pretty much identical. The rep scheme, very same as well. Five to eight reps, three to five sets, okay? Unless you're a beginner, you should be doing 10 to 20 reps. But anybody that's uh, you know been around the block, five to eight reps, okay? Boom, hand placement, very similar, right? Everything's tight. Down, stop just below, usually about an inch again. Power through, right? Bam! So, when you do the incline bench, it takes out your lats pretty much away from the movement. The flat bench, your lats are engaged a lot. That's why you're stronger on the flat bench than you are on the incline. Now, if your fucking incline bench is the same as your flat bench, that means your fucking lats are shit. We gotta work on your lats more, you gotta do tons more rows, everything else, which is a whole nother ball game. That is exercise number three. Exercise number four, come this way. 
Exercise number four, the four horsemen. The JM Press, named after JM Blakely. Is that how you say his name? This is great for adding pounds to your, to your bench press. All right, it's a cross between a close grip bench and a skull cr uh, crusher, right? Oh God, you gotta line up way far away from the bar. I always tuck my thumbs in, grab it right here on a safety squat bar, right? You come down like you're doing a bench press, come back like you're doing a skull crusher and then press up. So down, back, up. Okay, I got a question. What if I don't have a safety squat bar? If you don't have a safety squat bar, you use a regular bar, right? So a safety squat bar teaches you kind of where to stop, a stopping point. So it's to keep your elbows tucked down, roll back towards your forehead, press up. Bada bing, bada boom. And exercise number five, shoulder work. On my program, I always do shoulder work every Monday, bench heavy every Thursday. So I program in a lot of shoulders. Shoulder work consists of now just a lot of blood in the shoulders. So lots of reps of side raises. I mean, side raises, I can't do side raises anymore. You know, 20, 30 reps, I'm pumping those motherfuckers full of blood, right? Also lots of front raises as well. Not as much as front raises, because you work that front delt on everything you do, every exercise, every pressing movement, right? A lot of rear delt movements, so a lot of face pulls, a lot of bent over, rear, de uh, rear delts. Just tons and tons of shoulder work. So pretty much a giant shoulder pump every Monday. Strong shoulders always equal strong bench. All right, those are the five exercises to help you increase your bench. If those five exercises don't work, I'll personally invite you out to my barn gym and I will kiss your ass. If you like this kind of content, let us know down below in the comment section. We got plenty of tips for you guys and I got a really big tip for your wife or girlfriend. Huck Finn Barbell, out!